If you've seen any of my videos or you know me in person, I've talked about my love-hate relationship with my hair quite a bit. So I never really learned how to take care of my curls until about two years ago when I decided to stop straightening my hair and start watching a bunch of videos online. I never quite got it right. It was always whether too much product or too little product. So it was really frustrating. So if you see photos from my past, I have very long hair that I straighten a lot or if I wore it curly, I will make sure to straighten the top of it because I didn't know what to do with the top part of my curly hair. When I decided to chop it off, I realized it was so easy to just straighten it and that's what I did until about the beginning of the pandemic when I was like, okay, I'm not going now. I don't really need to straighten it and I tried to keep it curly. Problem is that if you've seen my videos, I tried to cut it myself, dye it myself and that generated a lot of damage because first of all I had just like a plain flat haircut that wasn't probably even at all because I did it myself. Also I got damage from a hairstylist that didn't know how to treat dark curly hair. So in this video you're gonna see how my hair just looks very, I want to say bad but it's not really bad. It's just very like I don't know, there's like nothing there, you know? It's just like straight curly hair. It just looks weird, it looks odd. It doesn't have any shape. It doesn't have like that yo no sé qua, you know? That was very cringy, you get my point. <laughs> but at the beginning of this year, I found out that Toronto has curly hair salons. So they specialize in curls. So I decided to book an appointment and this was in like March, April maybe. And they got back to me and they were like, listen, because of the pandemic, we don't have appointments available until the end of the summer. So we're going to put you on a wait list. And finally, they got back to me at the end of July. I started my day by washing my hair truly because they told me that it had to be clean, which was really odd for me because usually you go to the hair salon with your hair dirty, or at least that's what I did all the time. I washed my hair, got ready to go to work, and in this clip, just that morning at work, you can also kind of see the length of my hair. And I also wanted to show off my work day a little bit. <laughs> and then after that, I walked for 30 minutes to get to Coral Ambassadors, which is a small salon downtown Toronto. And even though it was small and it had this rustic vibe, it was so cute. And the people were so friendly. The hairstylist that got me, the hairstylist that I got was super friendly and she did a little consultation beforehand where she asked me kind of like what my goals were, what I wanted, what I usually do with my hair, so that she had an idea of what my hair was like. And this is when she broke it to me and she told me, girl, you have very curly hair. Because I thought that my hair was kind of like loose curls, wavy, and I showed her kind of the haircut I wanted and she was like, um, I can do a haircut for you, but it's not gonna look like that because your curls are way more curly. And I thought that I had like 2C hair, but in reality I have 3B and maybe even 3C depending on how I style my hair. And then after that she proceeded to cut my hair dry and because she touched it so much it got like very frizzy and like puffy the way that curly hair gets if you know what I mean she was like tell me like what do you think after she was done and I don't have a photo of what it looked like when I was done I really had to trust the process so I put my best face and I was like yeah I love it <laughs> so she just added layers to it and then we went to wash it and when we wash it that's when she explained everything like all the products that she used how i should be washing my hair how i should be styling my hair and this is the most important part i have seen so many videos of curly hair styles and what products to use and what steps and honestly no one told me this one tip that she gave me and it was a game changer and i mentioned this tip there so stay tuned do people still say, say stay tuned? I'm like so terrified of sounding like a millennial because I've seen so many TikToks of like people making fun of millennials and about how they record their videos. So I think that was probably like a millennial thing to do. So you're gonna see how my hair literally turns into a wet chicken when it's wet. Um, I don't know why a wet chicken. I just remember that my mom told me once that I should really dry my hair before I do anything else, like go out or like leave my room, 
because she said that when I have my hair wet, I look like a wet chicken. And talk about trauma because that shit stayed with me all these years and she told me that when I was like 17. Right now, these are my holy grail for doing my hair. The leave-in conditioner from Love Your Curls and this one's for kinky coily hair. This one was not recommended by the hair salon. They recommended the brand All About Curls for coily hair but I already had the pattern coral cream and I actually really like it so hopefully it works about the same. Then we have our All About Curls gel with a high definition. You don't want to have the soft one because apparently my curls are in need of high definition. <laughs> so for the fun part um, I've tried this now several times and believe me, it's so much easier when you do it while you're showering. So bring all of your curly hair products into the shower because recording this was a nightmare. The first step is to put in the leave-in conditioner. I don't put a lot, but enough to coat my hair. And this is the hot tip, okay? The hot tip is that you want to do it in the shower because you're supposed to have your hair soaking wet. I knew I had to have my hair wet in order to style it, but I didn't know that it had to be soaking wet. She told me that the best way to know that your hair has enough amount of water and enough amount of product is by making it squeak, if that makes any sense. So in this video, you see how after I coated with the leave-in conditioner, I started um, scrunching my hair in order to kind of like get those curls going. And every time you kind of do that, it makes kind of like a squeaky sound. Um, I kind of want to say it sounds like shoes when they're wet and you start walking. Um, and there's a specific sound that you have to look for because if it has too much water, it won't make that sound. And if it has too much product, it won't make that sound either. The, after the leave-in conditioner, I decided to add a little bit more water and then I went in with my curl styling cream and same thing. I only added a little bit of cream and started putting it all over my hair and scrunching my curls. And same process. If I felt like I had too much product, I will add more water. But the whole point is that your hair is supposed to be really wet <laughs> and then after that was done i decided to add gel the gel is very important because you want to create a cast while your hair is drying because later on we're gonna break that cast and another hot tip that she gave me was that when you take the towel and you start scrunching your hair to dry it out you don't want to see a lot of water in that towel because if you see a lot of water in that towel that means that you need more product obviously you're gonna see water because you're supposed to be taking excess water out but you're not gonna see a lot of it. Like it's not supposed to leave your like hair towel soaking wet. After this, just because your hair is still quite wet and full of product, I wrap my hair in the towel and I proceed to do my skincare, my face and get dressed. And here is how I learned to add a little bit more volume to my hair. And it's by adding hair clips into it. You can see that my problem areas are the front and the crown. And also the sides of my hair are very flat. She used a little bit of a hair diffuser when we were at the hair salon, but she said it's not necessary. If you're using a hair diffuser, the clips can only stay for a little bit because the heat is gonna make dents in your hair, it's gonna mark it. But if you're doing hair drying, then the clips can stay all the way until it's dry. So after I take my clips out and my hair is almost fully dry, you can see how curly it is. So to break the cast, I go in and I shake it which I was shook when she told me to do that because everywhere I've seen, they're always like, do not touch your hair, do not touch your curls, they're gonna get frizzy. But she was like, no, 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 we want volume. So we're gonna go in and shake your hair. And the key, she told me, it's to go under. So in this video, you can see how I put my hands under my hair and shake it. I never go from the top, kind of like this. I always go under and shake, under and shake. And after I kind of feel like I broke the cast, I go down and I give a big shake and then we're good to go. Here you can see my hair right after I finish the routine. And then there's also a video of my hair after I've been outside for a few hours and you can see that there is frizz, but it's nothing compared to before and the curls still have a lot of definition, which honestly I am so in love with. I could not have expected better results. I 
trusted the process and it really paid off because I love my hair now. It is a little bit of a process to style it, but I swear, like, I go to bed with a pineapple bone and the next day my hair looks good. It's soft, it's not like overly producty and it's not frizzy, and I can have it like that for like three days and then I have to like go again with some water and product. But on the first two, three days, I literally just spray a little bit of leave-in conditioner, like shake it a little bit and we're good to go. I'm just so happy with my curly hair. I think that this is the first time that I feel fully 100% confident wearing my hair curly. I love that there's places like this here and that I was able to go there. So if you're in Toronto and you wanna try it out, it's Curl Ambassadors and downtown Toronto. I'm gonna add their description down below and my specific stylist down below. And that's gonna be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts and go to a curly hair salon, really. And I'll see you on the next one.